Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to a brand new series that I'm starting on my channel. And this is the Popular Fiction Challenge by Sulix, Sulix 2 I believe that is. And I found this challenge on the Mod The Sims um, website. And the challenge is, love young adult fiction and The Sims? Well, here's an 8th generation legacy challenge that fuses the two, creating unique characters that complements your favourite characters. Right, I don't know why my screen decided, my, don't know why my screen decided to run away at that point. But, this is our legacy founder. This is Harrison Montana. And the rules that Harrison has to play by is that you play on a normal lifespan. Heirs can be any gender. Heirs are player decided unless stated otherwise. And I will go for um, normal legacy rules where the oldest is the heir. Unless it's something like you need a girl, then the first girl that comes along or the first child that comes that qualifies will be the heir. Some money cheats can be used. For instance, use free real estate for your first house, but no money cheats afterwards. I didn't use any cheats, any money cheats for this. I made him a very basic starter house with just the basics. It's a three room house. I'll show you it in a second. And um, he's starting off with 4,000 simoleons, which he's a lot better than Amara in my human experience challenge because she started off with nothing. So in case you haven't guessed, generation one is Twilight. So we have Mon um, Harrison here, our vampire, and Generation 1, Twilight. You, car you are a Carlisle-esque figure. Despite wanting to become a wise and powerful vampire, you have a soft spot for humans. That is why you decide to become a doctor to help your human friends, even though your thirst may get the best of you every once in a while. So, our Generation 1 founder must have red eyes in human form, and Harrison, he has his red eyes, must have genius, good and vegetarian traits and complete the um, vampire master aspiration. And we have that. And his traits are... Let's scroll down. He's a vegetarian, good, a genius, and from his aspiration, he also has quick learner. He must start, must become a vampire as a young adult or start as a vampire in Creator Sim. Must complete the pipe organ and vampire law skills. Must complete the doctor career. Must marry a human and must have a human heir. So, it's all very simple. I have to admit, I have never read Twilight. No, I lie. I have read maybe the first chapter of the Twilight Saga. And that's it. I just got very bored of it. Um, but I've never seen the movies. I, the only thing I know about Twilight is that they have vampires and they sparkle. And thank goodness Harrison does not sparkle. And that's it. But I like the idea of this challenge. It's very interesting. It's very simple. It doesn't go on for very long. It's only eight generations. And I think we're going to have fun with it because it's making me step out of my comfort zone where I will go in and make two sims and just make them live their lives. And this is making me do things I wouldn't normal, normally do. So let's get this party started and let's get Harrison to start completing his objectives because I want him to complete them as quickly as possible and then um, we'll have more time to do all the fun stuff. So let's play. Okay so he needs to get, he needs to be a doctor, work, find a job, Oh, let's put the, the walls down. So he needs to be a doctor. 18 simoleons an hour, and he will start tomorrow morning. So, okay. So this is Harrison's house. I've put him on quite a small lot in Win Lin Windenburg. Windenburg, I was about to say something else there. It's a little small corner lot. We don't have to stay there for the entire legacy. I will see how that goes. But he has his living room slash kitchen, his bedroom and the bathroom. And I've just realised I've put no lights in. 
<laughs> Never mind. But I mean, he's a vampire. He doesn't need lights. But we need to get started on his... Let me see. The vampire law skills. We should get a computer for that. Alright, we have enough to buy him a computer. He could go... Oh, we, oh, we don't have to buy a computer. We can go to the to the library. And then when he goes to the library, we can start meeting people. Do they have a library in Windenburg? Um, no, they don't. Yes, they do. I played Windenburg once. When... Um, was it Get to Work? Whichever pack this came with, when the pack came out, I played in Windenburg. But didn't do very much with it. Alright, you're going to be burning in the sunlight. You need to go in. Because I don't want to lose you on the first day to being a sparkly vampire. He's happy because it's snowing. Okay. Okay. Um, open? No. Do we have computers in here? We must have computers. It's a library. Libraries always have computers. We've got somebody's slablet. Can we order books on a slablet? Uh, search for information on vampires. I can't order books though. Uh, what was that? Oh, Mortimer Goth found the computer. Okay, level up, vampire secrets. Okay. And we need to read the Encyclopedia Vampirica Volume 1. So we need to buy that. Vampire secrets? No. Um, more choices. Unlocked Vampire Tome, okay. Vampire Secrets, Purchase Vampire Tomes, and we want Volume 1. Okay, let's start befriending some people. Friendly introduction, and who's that? Jasper, he's the librarian. Friendly introduction to you. Let's see, are there any young ladies? Who we can introduce ourselves to. Ah, uh, friendly introduction. We might as well be nice to everybody. We have a celeb. Oh, Judith. She gets everywhere. Have you introduced yourself to all these different people? There's the Bjorgson kid. I can't remember what her name is. Clara? Elsa. Friendly. Did you? Friendly. Are these... I find things drop out of their queues very quickly now. Uh, there's Liberty. And that looks like um, Marcus Flex. Okay, stick around and talk. Where are you, buddy? Where have you gone? Oh, he's over here. Alright, so why... Why are you guys doing that? Alright, well... Why are you doing that? Read. Talk and read. So what else can we get you doing? Because I want you to at least read the first one. So we can complete that aspiration. And then also get some, um, what kind of vampire po points? Oh, well, we've got two points so far we can use. Okay, 
Okay, detect personality. Fly as a bat. Cast hallucination. Eternally welcome. Or occult student. I think occult student. Can we take another one? Um, cast hallucination. No, we're going to leave it right now. We will leave it. Discovered plasma packs, and they can. Okay, we've got that done. Take your book because you've paid for it. We're not leaving it in the library. Okay, what else does he have to do next? Reach level four in vampire, participate in vampire training, and become a minor vampire. Okay, well, let's. While we're here, can we buy plasma packs from the slablet? Um, no, we have to use a proper computer. Do they only have two computers in this whole library? It, oh, is that, no, there's one upstairs. That's free. Order plasma packs. Okay, let's order 10. That can get expensive. We need to start looking for frogs. Because I know you can get plasma packs from frogs. Because if Harrison has a soft spot for humans, he's not really want to going to drink from them. And you want to work in the library. That's okay. We need to find some vampires though. Um, Forgotten Hollow does not have... Oh, who's she? Luna Villarreal. Okay. Can I not click on Luna? No. It's a bit strange. Does Luna not exist? Luna doesn't exist, <laughs> according to the game. Because I can't click on her. I don't know why. A uh, friendly introduction. Might as well introduce yourself to everybody. And... Can we... No, we still can't get to Luna. Maybe if I scroll right in. No, I can get the chair, but not her. That's really strange. Okay, well, never mind. And what do you need to do as a doctor? Attend active work day at the doctor career venue. Okay, well, that's not a problem. And we should be focused. Oh, there's Candy. Who are you? You look familiar. Uh, Hugo. Okay. So we can click on Hugo, but we can't click on Luna. That's really strange. But it seems like the library is the place to be definitely the place to be the library is hopping oh no so candy and that is bizarre that is really bizarre i'm not quite sure what's happening there it must hurt maybe it's a split personality Right, who are you, lady? Mila, Mila Munch. So is there anybody who stands out as a good friend so far? Liberty. 
Liberty and Baco. Okay. All right, is it night time yet? Not yet. Because I don't really want him to go outside. Yeah, I think she's stuck. Okay, as a new child of the night, as elder vampire, it's my honor to welcome you to our family. Your new thirst. For plasma takes some getting used to remember thirst can be uncomfortable, but I'm guessing he said use plasma packs. We knew that. And that is another. Yeah, that is weird. Maybe after a while the game doesn't register. Doesn't register these people because it's registering. Siobhan, but it's not registered in Jasminda. Jasmine, Jasminda. That is bizarre. Okay, well, let's move from here. It's six o'clock. It's going to be night time. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the park. Let's see if we can find some frogs. The bluffs? No. Let's see if we can find. Is there a park in Windenburg? The ruins? No, there's no park. Okay, let's go to Willow Creek and go to Magnolia Blossom Park. Um, do you want to take anybody? No, we're not going to do that. But he seems to have hit it off with Liberty. Liberty must be one of these really friendly people because in my sims tutorial series liberty hit it off with vincent pretty much straight away oh it's still daytime okay we need to get some cover quick run here no we don't need sparkly vampires When is it evening? Is it not 6? Maybe it's 6.30. Okay. Oh, we should have bought the next vampire book before we left. Well, have we learnt everything from that? No, don't go outside. Oh my god. Look, sit here. Sit. I know you want to be human, but Harrison, it's not happening. All right, sit there and read. No, you want to go outside and read. No, 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 sit. Why on earth would you want to go outside and read? Yeah, just sit there and let's wait for a second are you hungry no you can do some dark meditation though uh, vampire dark meditation because that will bring up your power points as well So as soon as we can get you thick skinned and immune to sunlight, the better. Okay. Okay, let's do that. And get that one. Can you do some dark meditation again or no? Is it not night time yet? I thought it was... No, okay. Why have you acquired the fitness skill? What are you doing? 
Oh, because he's energized. Exercise, do push ups, do sit ups, and stretch. You might as well make good use of your time. Can we go outside yet? Let's have a look. Yay, it's night time. Right, let's see if we can find any frogs. Um, what's this over here? Dig? We might as well get you collecting stuff. And any frogs over here? View apple tree. That's got to be. So, oh, there's a frog thing over here. Look for frogs. Anything else? Dig, dig for treasure. Can you do that on the same thing? I don't know. But we'll soon find out. What else can we do? Is that a frog? Here's a frog thing behind here too. Look for frogs. I think that's it. See, Harrison's got a lot of scars on his face, but that's because, you know, he's always taking the beating for a human. That's going to be um, someone's dinner. So, you know, he's quite happy to show his, um, you know, he's quite happy to, to have his scars on show. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, there you go. Quite happy to have his scars on show. And we've got a frog, which is good. Okay, why are you... Why are you yelling? I mean, you're not hungry. Your vampire energy is fine. And now you're focused. Okay. Let's scroll out a little bit. Let's have a look. What skill does that bring up? Not relationship, skill. Oh, that's fitness. Okay. Although you seem to be falling over more than anything else, Harrison. Have I missed anything? Let's have a scroll out and have a look. I'm sure there was more stuff. Yeah, nothing over here. Nothing there. We should go to, um, the one in Willow Creek. Is this the one? No, this isn't the one in Mil Willow Creek. Yeah, time for you to have something to eat and then let's go to another park. Oasis Springs. Let's go to that park. What time is it? Because I suddenly thought he's got to go to work in the morning. It is two in the morning. Oh, he's got to go to work. 
We should have gone home. Let's go home, let's go home. Okay, sleep. And then when you get up, you can have a, a bath. Because what time does he start work? He starts at 7 in the morning. Oh. Although, okay, here's... Take a thoughtful shower. The lights came on in the house, or is it because it's bright outside? I don't know. Uh, join. Clinical orientation. Welcome, Harrison Montana, to a vital and rewarding career in the field of medicine. Being new to the job takes some time getting familiarised with the location, the people and the basic responsibilities of the profession. In time with skill, dedication and passion, and a passion to help his fellow Sims, Harrison will no doubt go far in his career. Alright, you need to go in. Sorry, I didn't mean to kill you <laughs> while I read the introduction. Chat with the patient. Greet two co-workers. Well, you're a co-worker. Friendly introduction. And that is a friendly oh no. Um drink. All right, and you can greet her too. Um, chat with a patient. Examine patient or just friendly? Friendly introduction. I wonder if that will count. Okay, make the bed. You can make this bed. Throw that away. Okay, grab a snack between seeing patients. Well, he's not particularly hungry, so not yet. Um, discuss work with a co worker. Um, more choices. Friendly. More choices. Get to work? No. Complain about work? Discuss work. And what else? Research health, benef health reports online. Research health reports. And also, let's order the... Oh no, we're not ready for volume two yet. Okay. But let's get some more plasma packs. Okay, so we're researching. Ask about a co worker's day. And actually, let's get a plasma pack. Even though we don't really need it, but we're supposed to grab a snack, I'm guessing that would count as grabbing a snack. Um, chat with a patient. Deliver food. Even though it didn't say to deliver food, but you know. No, don't go there. That was a mistake. Friendly. Ask about day. And ask about a co-worker's day. Alright, this dude. Um, friendly. Ask about day. And then you can mop up that puddle. Alright, where are you? Well, 
Well, seeing that you're still chatting, hopefully that will come on the chat with co-workers. Yes, it does. And um, get to know. Were you? Are you going to mop another puddle? Because that's what you do when you're a doctor. You mop lots of puddles. Okay, discuss work. Um, more choices. Friendly. Discuss work. Where's discuss work? I think we're doing pretty okay, actually. And hopefully that will come on the chat with co-workers as well. Uh, complain about work to a co-worker. Complain about work. Go on. Okay, deliver food. We did that to somebody else. Okay, we have you admit in patients, because no one else seems to do it. And let's find somebody to deliver food to. Okay, work ends at three. We have about a sim hour left. Okay. Carol, okay, keep going. I want to get a, a thing today, a promotion. And we will stay late. Harrison, where are you? All right, we'll deliver food to her then. Um, do they not have any beds? Where are you, Harrison? Okay, they might not have any beds. What are you going to do? Chat with Peyton. Now I need you to deliver some food. Alright, don't do that. Deliver food to Nancy. Okay. Friendly. Are you chatting? Yes, you are chatting. And you can drink another plasma, plasma pack. Although, I mean, if you're at the hospital, you should have the option to be able to get them from the hospital. Okay. And that really didn't work. Oh, yes, it... No, no. Discuss work with a co-worker. Um, gossip about co-workers. Friendly. They should have a work option. Uh, discuss, discuss work. Would that come under chatting with a patient? I thought it would have. Because he was chatting with two other patients. Alright, ask about co-workers day. Uh, friendly, ask about day. Chat with co-workers, that's what you're basically doing. Okay, he didn't get a promotion. All right, we need to get you an umbrella. Go inside. You really want to make me a liar about sparkly vampires. We need to get 
a umbrella for you. Umbri umbrella rack. So you couldn't show me that in the first place? Right, that can go there. No. And we might as well get a light or two while we're at it. Um, ceiling. And the kid's ceiling light. I mean, it's the cheapest light in the game and it gives loads of light. Okay, so the frogs, we can turn those, are oh, not yet. And is there anything else we can do? Participate in vampire training. Okay, well, seeing that we're not in um, Forgotten Hollow, let's do this quickly. And one of the lot traits, I think we can turn it into a, a vampire. A vampire layer? Vampire nexus. Yeah, let's turn it into a vampire nexus. What's registered vampire layer? Okay, let's do that. Because he's not in Forgotten Hollow, which is where all the vampires hang out. So, what are we watching? Vampire? No. Some kind of kiddie movie. Okay, well, I think for now we are going to leave things as they are. It's time, it's time to, it was time for the end of this episode. So thanks a lot everybody for watching. I hope you're enjoying this brand new series, this brand new legacy. And please like and subscribe, it really helps my channel. And I will see you in the next episode of the Popular Fiction Challenge. Alright, thanks. Bye bye.